Hello and welcome to another update about Ethereum. Just a quick update really. Um, Ethereum did run again here into the target area um, just yesterday. So uh, again, confirmation how important this target area is, um, but found support in here again, pretty much here at this purple line. The purple line, that was the 144 day EMA. So we found support all the way along that. Um, and now we are pushing up higher here together with the whole crypto market broke back above this ascending trend line. Yeah, that has been guiding us here. If I zoom out, you can see that clearer. So we are back above this ascending trend line, which is very, very important. Um, and in my view, it's, you know, we, we are sort of still in a, in a short term downtrend, as you can see, because we've got this downtrending trend line here. And as long as we are below 4,110, I would say, you know, that previous high, I wouldn't talk about a confirmed breakout, even though we could break out of this descending trend line, but we need to get above the previous high. Um, from here then we could move up also, we would then break above a FIP level, the 0.382 FIP level. From here then we could move higher together with Bitcoin. I do expect generally um, that we come down lower into the trading area again, into this yellow box. But also if Bitcoin in the short term moves up in that um, wave B that I talked about in my Bitcoin videos, um, then I think Ethereum could actually move up here to 4,400, maybe even 4,800 again. I mean, that would be a move up from where we are now of around 17%. Yeah, I think that is definitely achievable for Ethereum. But if we do that, that would be even be a, a triple top, you know, I mean, if we break through, that would be a new all time high, that'd be definitely positive. We need to see how the price reacts if we get to this level and how far Bitcoin moves up from here. But then I would expect us to move um, yeah, down again in a further correction as Bitcoin is doing that as well. But really good looking at the moment here. Um, it's actually holding fairly strong Ethereum compared to other cryptocurrencies. And we are sort of still in this higher level uptrend. Um, but again, on the short term side here, we are in a downtrend at the moment. Um, just showing you that descending trend line here. Um, if Bitcoin <clears throat> moves up a little bit higher. Yes, we can break through all these daily EMAs through the daily EMA ribbon and from there then move up higher. I just gave you the resistance levels, but overall, I think we are still in this um, short term downtrend and also because we did break below this ascending trend line before and because we're in this ABC pattern here um, and because of Bitcoin's move. And if we just switch over quickly to Bitcoin, um, I would expect Ethereum does not is not able to hold these high levels if Bitcoin drops again. And with Bitcoin dropping, I'm talking about, you know, Bitcoin could now move up into this wave B area between 55 and 63K. Then I think Ethereum um, can do there, you know, maybe even 4,800, maybe even a new all time high. I mean, I'm not really sure about this, but it could happen. And from there on then, if Bitcoin finds some resistance up here in this area, which I expect, then we're going to drop in a final sell off into the target area between 20 and 29K. That's all based on the Elliott Wave count analysis, Elliott Wave method analysis. And therefore I would expect Ethereum sort of to mirror that. We know that Ethereum is a very, very, um, is a cryptocurrency that is very much related, just finding the right, right chart here, is very much related to Bitcoin, high correlation um, of 0.7, I think in the last year, which is fairly high. So yeah, this is where we are, currently at a key resistance level here, for Ethereum, don't get too bullish, um, but um, you know we're making higher lows, lower highs, moving into the apex of a triangle here possibly as well, and Ethereum currently depending here on how Bitcoin is moving, but generally not looking too bad, but again, I would expect it to do what Bitcoin is doing. So hopefully you liked the quick update about Ethereum. If you did, please smash the like button and subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching, bye-bye.